college football is back, right? 63rd meeting between these programs. No love lost between the schools, between the fan bases. This is what college football is all about. Yes, sir. We here, baby. We here. And it's up and it's stuck. You feel me? Yes, sir. Woo! I'm glad to be here, man. What is that? What is that? 18 months? We back already. Hey man, everything we work for, bro. It's our first chance at 12 to put it on the table for everyone. For everyone, bro. I love y'all. You want the control? People say, then control what's on the film. You take it today. Can we on the same page? Hey, that moment's here. We talked about it, right? Okay, you've been working toward it. Trust your training, okay? Don't do something out of body. Trust your training. Trust what you know is right. Okay? You don't have to do something extra on top of it. Okay? Mindset. Savage mindset. Liberty Bowl starting to fill in a little bit on an early kickoff on this August 31st, final day of the month of August. Now, you remember this. You remember this. Pressure is what? It's something that you apply. Hey, if you don't feel pressure is something you apply. It's going to get crazy on the field today, man. Let's kick this thing off. I can't wait. It wouldn't take long after the opening kick for both teams to realize this was going to be a hotly contested defensive battle. From the 25, there's the snap. And handoff to the backfield. Good penetration for the Tigers as Scotty Phillips had nothing there. Third and two. Pass complete to the edge to Jones. And Jones going to be stopped up short of the first down. Third down and eight for Ole Miss Ready. from the Rebel 24. Corral, he's looking to throw over the middle, shoots it way too high, incomplete. In a game of defensive back and forth, penalties are always a backbreaker. Well, you saw Sam Williams reach up to try to grab him. He got some of that face mask, and that'll help the Memphis cause. A lot of pursuit out there. Had him turned back inside, but there's a whole bunch of uh, defenders, but just simply reached out and grabbed the face mask, and now uh, inside Rebel territory, the Tigers. Capitalizing on two drive-saving penalties, the Tigers put the first points of the game on the board. Two tight ends, quarterback sneak, and punching it in is Brady White, and Memphis has scored first here in... The Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium helped out with some penalties. The Tigers take a 6 to nothing lead. Everything else was penalties. We just got to be smart. We had them in dirty law, and they got us in a rough. We gave them that one. That was us. That wasn't them. That was us. Does that make sense? Matt Corral, in his first collegiate start, was now playing from behind. But the redshirt freshman never backed down. Four-man rush for Memphis. There's the snap. Matt wants to throw. He's got his man near side, and that's going to be caught by Elijah Moore, and that's going to be a targeting foul. Obvious one. Yeah. I'll take it, baby. Let's go. Let's go home, baby. Corral got the Rebels within striking distance, leaving specialist Luke Logan with a 50-yard kick to size up. This will be from the 40, a 50-yard effort for him as long as last year was 40. He's got the distance. Is he on target? No. The unusual miss from Logan was answered quickly by the homestanding Tigers. So here you go, two tight ends, H-back right, power look with an I formation, under center's white. Taylor again, this time steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Patrick Taylor with his 17th rushing touchdown of his career. Running through the arms of Lakia Henry that time. And I think throughout the course of the season, we're going to see it's a team that gets better and better. We'll see if they can make the adjustments at halftime and come out and make this a closer ball game. We ran 27 plays in the first half. That ain't us. You got to get off your heels. You got to go apply the pressure, man. Quit playing on your heels. Offense, go attack. I just need y'all to go out there and lay it on the line and have some fun. 13 points is nothing. It's a two-score game. One person can make a difference. One guy making a big play and knocking the ball out can make a difference. All right, hey, go win this second half. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Let's go. will start at their own 20 right hash leading 13 to nothing. Memphis with the ball to begin the second half and they put it on the ground. Loose. Look old Miss guy. Here's that the Tigers oh, got on top of it. That was a golden opportunity for Old Miss to start the second half. Got to find a way to get that football. Golden opportunities don't come by often in the game of football. Senior Benito Jones will not let the opportunity pass his team by twice. Brady White dropping way back and picked off at the 40-yard line. 
by Benito Jones. The big fella showing some hands. But in the back and forth defensive struggle, the turnover yielded no points. 9.36 to go, third quarter. Memphis leads 13-0. Rebels will go for it on fourth and five on the Tiger 30. Matt Corral takes the snap, looking downfield, steps into it, throws it over the middle, and incomplete. So the ball will flip over to Memphis at the 30-yard line. The Tiger defense rallies and gets the stop. Not discouraged in the least, the Rebel defense continued their dominance. On the left hash, Tigers moving the ball again. Play action, bootleg right. Now White is in trouble, hit and sacked back at the 43-yard line. They're going to go for it here on fourth and short. Coachy makes the catch, couldn't make the move, and a great open field tackle on the play by Jalen Jones. And Ole Miss will take over on downs. Anchored by an aggressive D, the Rebels put up their first points of the game. And finally, the Rebels on the board, 13 to three now. Their deficit with 3.11 to go in the third quarter. And Matt Corral and company wasted no time in adding to their total. It's a huge drive. Memphis defense, they're looking for a big stop. And there's the snap. And the fake to Phillips and the pass down field is going to be caught and upended, but getting the first down at the 32 yard line. Corral, fake the reverse, kept it. Great decision. Corral chopped down short of the end zone, and he took a big hit. Phillips, another chance. No doubt about that one. The Rebels in the end zone for the first time this afternoon, and they cut the margin to four, potentially to three. Uncle Mo is in the building. Wow, this second half, what a roll reversal. The score had left the Rebels within easy striking distance of the Tigers. Now it was up to the defense to get the ball back to a surging Rebel attack. For the Tigers trying to wrest the momentum back. White under duress and sacked. Mike McIntyre's defense comes up with a huge play. The red and blue defenders had done their job. But Tiger punter Adam Williams had the perfect response. Fourth is going to work out great for the Memphis Tigers. It'll be down to the two yard line after that great punt. See if they're trying dial up a little bit of pressure on him here deep in their own end zone around the pass and he's going to take a safety Bryce Huff the safety stretched the Memphis lead to five points leaving the game one defensive stop away from a comeback I'll be honest with you and they may wind up getting it nicest game away and it may be the right call but as I look at this if you punt based off what your punter did last time and you pin him, you force him to go a long way to score a touchdown. If you don't, you give Ole Miss the ball in great field position. Fourth and two. The shuffle pass, and they'll get the first down. Gainwell, boy, nice call by Mike Norvell. Gutsy call paid off. Excellent play design. Mike Norvell's had that sitting in his holster all day long. The defensive struggle would come to an end with the Memphis Tigers hanging on by a thread to edge out the Rebels 15 to 10. Whenever you lose a game like this, you're gonna have to deal with a bunch of negativity outside. There ain't, the boat's gone. It's just us. Y'all got what I'm saying? It's just us, but it's a long season, guys. This ain't, this ain't a sprint, this is a marathon. Defense, you did a hell of a job. You did a hell of a job. Now listen to me, listen to me, I wanna build on it. I wanna build on offense. We got a bunch of young, we got a bunch of young guys. We gotta go get it fixed and then come back next week. We start SEC play at home, okay? So don't hang your head. Hey, stick together, all right? Stick together. Don't let anything, don't let anything separate us. You understand this? We're in this thing together. No matter what, win, lose, whatever. We're in this thing together. All right, but I love you, and I want I want you to keep your head up. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. That wasn't what I wanted. wasn't what we expected. All right, but hey, we can't do anything about it now. I mean, we played together like a defense, the way it's supposed to be played. Uh, we fit everything up. Um, we 
really just played everything the way it's supposed to be played. And, uh, and it allowed us, you know, not get a lot of points scored on us today. I thought overall, the, especially the defensive front, really played stout and tough and uh, got after it. You know, it's a conscientious group. Uh, they'll work hard. Uh, they'll see what we got to get fixed and they'll do it in a hurry. You know, really, really disappointed. Um, we didn't, you know, our defense kept us in it for the for the whole game and they played um, it looked like a much improved defense. We have to uh, we gotta do a lot of growing up offensively.